Mamma Mia! Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi, welcome you back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. The Hunt for the Magical Key. Joining me again is... Hey, Paisanos! This is Alex and O. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and now we're in 4-3 and we have my nemesis fire bars and I barely made that jump. <laughs> it's just... So, a yeah. question for you. Do you have any funny, entertaining, or otherwise interesting, like, development stories or things that happened when you were making, um, Super Mario Brothers: The Hunt for the Magical Key? Well, um... Uh, the story was not, uh... The story... I, I did the story just, just out of my head. I just found out something. It's, uh, it's, um... It's a simple story, but it, it works. Hmm? <laughs> it works. Oh, I think you should press the P switch. <laughs> That's a lot easier. That looked really scary. <laughs> that song is uh, from Wizard and Warriors. That uh, P switch music. Oh, nice to yeah. know. Maybe, maybe you know, how long do P-Switches last in this game? I know I could count it, but do you happen I to know? I think it's uh, 8 seconds? Or, or 16, okay. I don't know. I think... Okay. Uh, I'm in Super Mario Bros. 3, it's 8. And I think it's 16 in Super Mario World. Okay, that actually sounds right. It does feel like it lasts a bit of time. Yes. It came up as a topic in an earlier video, and I was just wondering to myself, huh, P-Switch timers. Yeah. I wonder how long every single Mario game's P-Switch is. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, the fire bars are getting even more <laughs> angry at me. As in, I play other hacks with uh, with uh, with people people who often overuse the P-Switch, uh, like in uh, SMV Essential Production 1. That's a lot of peace switch in that. <laughs> in that you could carry the peace switch all through the level. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a peace switch. You'll give me a peace switch. Everyone gets a peace yeah. switch. <laughs> what? What's the P for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what's What stands the P for? <laughs> oh gosh, I, I should hold a survey. What does the P in peace switch stand for? <laughs> I'm totally gonna do that. I just have to think of clever responses, or maybe I'll just say, um, YouTube audience, the P and P switch. <laughs> what does it stand for? It's starting in Super okay. Mario Three. With P switch, and it's uh, it has P balloons in Super Mario World and P wings in Super Mario Three. Super Mario. <laughs> You could always say, well, yeah. Super Nintendo, you got the power, super power. I think you should just go into the door. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I saw that the screen could just continue to scroll, so I'm like, I must scroll screen further, although the screen doesn't want to scroll any further, so yeah, I'll just go in the door, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, sorry, I'm trying to break oh. your level. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you found the secret exit in this ghost house. Ooh, this ghost house is a secret exit. Yes. Okay. Almost all of it has a secret exit. It just, I think it's just two of them that it doesn't have. Okay. It's one of the <laughs> annoying things about the original Super Mario World. Go down, that down. Out of all go the go levels, back the there. Yes. Down over here? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that one would have been a bit of a difficult secret exit. You do a really good job hiding the secret exits, I must say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take care of the normal exit while we're on the ghost house anyway. But yeah, so far, like, your secret exits have been ingenious, and even the ones that I haven't been able to find, I've been looking at them, and I'm thinking... I should have been able to figure that out. Yeah. It's like you hit that perfect balance between this is hard to find and no one's ever going to find this. Yes. Like, people will find them if they look yes. for them. 
I love that. I I got the idea from Super New Super Mario Brothers for Wii that has uh, oh, nearly the same thing in a in a, in a ghost house. But it, it, it's a hidden door inside there in one of the levels. I don't know which world it is, but uh, but it is, it is there. I. I got the ideas from it. From it. The graphics is from uh, New Super Bros. For uh, this. This. It actually works decently well with Super Mario World, surprisingly. Yeah. Sometimes if you start integrating Super Mario World graphics with other graphical styles, they kind of clash. But actually, the new Super Mario Brothers style with like the Mario sprite you got going on here and everything else actually yes. works pretty well. This level I use uh, the mountain graphics from New Super Mario Bros. Oh, that boo has sniped me twice now. <laughs> I'll be patient. Yes, that's a good thing to be patient. It's uh, it's this hack is the longest hack I ever made before. So uh, it has a hundred twenty exits. Full hack, everyone. And a thirty because I apparently can never get the fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard, but I, but I did it. <laughs> I did a lot, <laughs> but, but you only get uh, three one-ups for it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna continue our split path here and have Luigi take on level four five. Ooh boy! Here is a super. So yeah, one thing I did want to comment: Super Mario Brothers two music, yeah. and I was otherwise gonna say you've definitely borrowed a lot of inspiration from like a lot of different Mario games. Not just one, it's like every single one feels represented in this hack. Ooh, I can even pick up stuff out of the ground. Ah. <clears throat> Was it difficult to integrate all these things, or did it just come with practice? In the in the last video, we... I am got inspirations from A Link, Link's Awakening. You see, it, it has the music from it. <laughs> I use different music songs in these hacks. There are a lot of them, and I it's most of them are samples, sample songs, like okay. uh, the Donkey Kong Country uh, songs, and it's uh, Yoshi's Island songs. And, uh, it has a lot, <coughs> a lot of a lot of. Uh, very uh, known soundtrack from different Mario games and other games. Oh Ooh. no! Okay, let's try that again. But but I do like to make remakes of old levels from uh, the original Mario games. <laughs> it's fun, fun. This little section. If if people. This little section here reminds me of seven one actually, but anyway, go on. If you yeah, if you just continue, you will see something familiar <laughs> in this level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of seven one, look at this. <laughs> we didn't even have to take a rocket to get here, d no. either. This is... No. This works. There we go, just closely <laughs> get our way through here and not die the ninja, and we should be good to go. I know that, like, for example, Super Mario World Central will be like, don't remake old levels, but the way you've been doing it so far, I actually enjoy it. It's like, oh, hey, here's a little cameo from this one level, or hey, here's this one little cameo from this one level. Or someone in a previous video actually commented some, I forgot which video it was, but it was like, oh, uh, level 1-4 was from this really obscure game, and I believe you even commented on that, like, you actually picked it up on yes. it. You're yes, right. Yes, that's right. Uh, I... 
I um, check it out. Uh, the Super Mario Special that was made for my uh, made for uh, um, I think it was Sinclair or something. A PC game. That looks very bad. <laughs> the graphics on it looks bad, but uh, when I am. Um, I really, I really wanted to remake those levels in, and make them look better, since uh, they stink. <laughs> 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 really. <laughs> I, I guess it's best to be blunt about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, it was just bad. Yes. There, there is a, there is more oh, yeah. levels from Super Mario Special in this uh, room hack. I am looking yes. forward to all that. I think we have time for one more level. Yeah. I also like how I ended the level with 99 seconds. So the end of the you're running out of time theme did play, but not quite. All right. So Mario's task is to cross a waterfall. Here we go. Which is underground. Yes. <laughs> I I I like the underground of Super Mario Brothers. It's uh, it's good. I like like the it has um, <coughs> it, it's the classic style that that we all have grown it up. It does actually work really yeah. well. The good old run on top of the level though, but it's like, oh no, look at all this level that I'm missing. I must go and see if any of these pipes are enterable. Yeah. You are making me go full OCD on this actually, because it's like, I could run on top of the level, but then I missed the level. This is the problem with me and like flying over levels. It's like, I could fly over the level, but then I missed the level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there is no warp zones in this, uh, so... <laughs> it's not needed. <laughs> I, I am happy that you did leave the cape in this Romac. A lot of people just straight remove the cape because they're like, no, you're not breaking the game. <laughs> but sometimes I make it impossible to cheat. Like, like this. Ooh. You, you cannot fly through the whole level in just one... Uh, Fly. <laughs> oh. Should get some one ups. Well, this star is. <laughs> this star is already proving its yeah. worth. There we go. It's, uh, Unfortunately, not enough to get any one ups. The that was very the helpful. The star song is the Metal uh, Mario theme from Super Mario 64. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's a good. There is two hidden blocks there. Oh. Okay. Let me go pick yeah. them up. Ah, ha, ha. clever, 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 clever. No one has f found it before, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we we have discovered a secret, everyone, that most people probably have not found. Yeah. I uh, <coughs> I watch uh, a lot of these videos on the on the internet uh, on the YouTube and uh, there is a lot of people that don't find uh, anything and uh, something. So. I'm included in that group, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I can but no, I really do like it when it's like. Well, if you're attentive and look for it, maybe you will find a secret, and it's all like, look, there's the one-up, which you could argue, well, it's just a one-up. But on the other hand, it's like, well, there's a little oh. secret for you. Hey, I actually got stars yes. from the flag. Yes! The gold tape is yes. invisible. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot see it. So it's that's it's what's go going up and down, on. but you cannot see it. See it. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. Therefore, you get cool. sometimes hey, points you. for it. <laughs> you don't know... <laughs> when okay. you get points. <laughs> okay. Well, Axno, thank you so much for joining me and telling me a little bit more about your hack. The, <clears throat> thanks, uh, thanks to beer. 
no problem. Everyone, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Brothers, the uh, hunt for the magical key, we're going to continue on forward. Castle 4. Uh, and the um, giant the rest world. Of the silver world. The next? Giant yeah. world. Look forward to that, everyone. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this has been Miles Luigi. <clears throat> Goodbye, people.